Hello everybody, welcome to this video. I'm making this video while also streaming on Twitch. So if you want to watch me play other games, feel free to check it out. Scion here. So in today's video, I'm just going to talk about MapleStory and my progress. Specifically, my two months and about two weeks progress playing MapleStory on the reboot server. So let me go over what I'm going to be talking about in this video. Probably I'll have like some tips and tricks here and there, but the outline for this video is I'm going to talk about my progression and maybe talk about some other things about MapleStory and maybe convince you to play MapleStory or help you figure out what kind of class you want to main if you decide to play MapleStory. So first thing I want to explain is the different servers. So there's a reboot server and non-reboot servers. The main difference is in the reboot server, there's no trading and you don't need to pay to progress. In the non-reboot, you can trade items between your characters in, the, in the storage and stuff like that, especially equips, and you can buy power with NX. So if you're rich, you should play the non-reboot servers. All right, so now let's go to the reboot server and I'm gonna talk about me getting my legion to 6k and why is 6k significant it basically allows you to unlock the entire legion board at 6k so i want to just give a quick overview on my account because this is my account in two months and two weeks progress and i'll show you in game so here are all my characters my adele is actually my main character right here at 227 now i know some people prefer that you should just focus on your main until you're like level 235 or when you unlock all the arcane symbols but for me i felt that it was a good idea to just go for 6k legion um because uh what's that word called i was kind of taking advantage of a lot of people spamming mvp and i probably i thought to myself that oh i can probably spread out all the resources on leveling 6k legion um, to take advantage of all the MVP buffs and all the growth potions you get from the event. But you don't need to do that. Uh, there's no right way to play this game. And I don't think even if you tried to play a game your way or lost, there's no such thing as a waste of time. Because when I first started playing, or it came back to Mibble Story, you know, about two months ago, my main actually was a Pathfinder. This one right here and I played it for like two weeks where's my pathfinder right here I had that one leveling up first and let me tell you getting from one to like even 150 with your first character on a fresh account is pretty time consuming but you know we had this event where you can burn characters from 1 to 200 and if you do come back to me with story during a burning event let me tell you, you can probably get 6k legion in less than 2 months. But yes, these are all the characters that I made. And as you level your legion, you'll probably find the class that you want to main. Because it wasn't until I started leveling my legion that I kind of was like, Oh man, I like the Adele class, I'm going to make that one my main. So you know, here's like a quick overview of my characters now you're wondering how did i get like the care slots and what did i put my mesos to so you know when you make a character in the reboot server you get this reboot box and at 150 you can get accumulatively like 500 million mesos no cap i spent all those mesos on the character coupon select character coupon Expansion ticket, whatever. I'll show you in game. I'm gonna go in game right now. So I'm logging on to my Adele. So the first thing though I want to show you is my Legion and when I started the game. So you know this is for real. I'm not joking. So to do that, you go to the Maple Achievements, and then you go to General, and you can see here. This is usually when you start playing Maple Story because the some of the first quests you get is like open Maple achievements. So as you can see here, I started playing Maple Story on the reboot server on May 3rd, 
2022. Amazing, right? It sure is. And now, the best part is my region is finally 6k. So as you can see here, I don't have the full Legion board unlocked because I'm on Renowned Legion rank 1. I'm like 4 or 5 upgrades behind. And the reason is that is because on Re Renowned Legion rank 1, I was able to get at least 1 or and sometimes 2 Legion EXP coupons. So pretty much when I started leveling my Legion, Every day, I would go over here to the Legion people, this shop right here, and I would get Legion Expertise level 3. It increases your EXP by 100% in the last 30 minutes. And then I would usually get the MVP buff that people, you know, advertise in the world. And I'll show you what that looks like because um, I kind of spent, well, I don't. Want to spend damage money on this game, but damn, the fashion is pretty good. But I'm done. But this is what it looks like. They would use this MVP 50% bonus XP coupon, and these coupons are self-explanatory. They can tell you if they stack with other coupons, so you can usually run a 2x EXP coupon, such as ones from the event, like we have now, and an extreme gold potion. And you can use Holy Symbol, which is a skill that you can get from with a party in the Cleric, or you get it from your fifth job as a node, which is this one. Increase your EXP by 25%. But the one on the Cleric is way better, or Bishop, because it gives plus 50%. So honestly, if you want to make your first character a burn, and you want to level it fast to 200 or 220, I suggest you burn a bishop, a cleric, because with a 50% holy symbol, 100% EXP coupon, 50% MVP bonus, and 10% um, monster park potion. And if you are leveling a Mercedes for the link skill, which gives you elven blessing, to do know the Mercedes or Link skills are respectively 70, 120, and 210. If you level it to 70, it's only going to be like 10%. And level 2 Link skill is 50%. And level 3 Link skill is 20%. Oh, see right here? See, someone's doing MVP. Normally, I would go right now because I love MVP. So I'm going to go get it. So I'll just go over there right now. <clears throat> So you can stack those EXP buffs and level up even faster. And then the other thing I want to note is the character coupon expansion, right? So I was saying earlier, you can go to any store in the game, I believe so. And they should have those coupons. So once you get to 150, and you open up the reboot box, you know, hopefully it's still there and you have like 500 mil missiles. You can go to the potions shop. This one. And they will have character slot expansion coupons for 20 mil. So you do the math, you can probably get up to 40 character slots. And that's what I did at the beginning. I just bought out all the character slots. And then I already made all the characters. The reason why you want to make all the classes in the game is because the Legion board is only like getting the bonus attributes or bonus stats from the highest level of the class. And I can show you an example. I have two Demon Slayers. This Demon Slayer right here. And another Demon Slayer back here. That's 122. So if I put both of them on a Legion board, it's only going to count the 150 in the member bonus, and not this one at all. So, yeah, you want to make all the characters, and eventually you'll level them all. But if you don't want to 
worry about that in the beginning you can just focus on leveling your main character until you get to like 235 or 250 because i guarantee you you will get stuck and eventually you'll have to level your legion because these grid bonuses or legion bonuses are really hard to ignore they kind of make they're kind of a big deal later on so one way for progression on each character is what i'd like to do or i like to level up is when you level up your main character and you have some mesos i suggest that you store and plan for leveling your characters so what i usually would do is once i had like you know mesos i would put them in the storage keeper to fund all the other characters for at least a hyper telepot hyper teleportation stone and some potions so i'm going to show you right now here there's a really good item this hyper teleport rock and it's 5.2 mesos so you can try to play one character a day and get to 70 because getting from 1 to 70 is really easy and i'll tell you right now so let me move back one more step to get mesos in this game you can run ursus which unlocks at level 100 and you can do this three times a day and if you run during the times where it's 2x mesos drop you can make 90 mil a day plus you can also run maple tour once you get to i believe 100 as well this one right here you can run this and you can get up to like one maybe 50 mil to 200 mil a week so you can definitely get hit the ground running when you play this game but it's just the start that's hard but once you start the game you get the ball rolling you know it's just gonna snowball effect just like compound investing but that's another topic So, what I usually do, once you get those mesos, you store that, you know, just put like 100 mil in storage. Once you make your new character, just take 10 mil out. Then I would buy the hyper teleport stone. Then I get some potions. You can get potions from that store that I showed you. They have the beginner sprout potion. It's a green potion. That's 1k mesos each. That's worth it. Just get 500 of those should be enough for you to get from 1 to 70 and then I suggest that you just do the theme dungeons and the theme dungeons are really fast exp and require zero funding so this method I'm telling you is zero funding just do a linear fairy academy rain straight and then gold beach in that order and some little tricks that you can do is you can use the teleport stone in here when you're doing them so you can teleport directly to the quest or point of interest when you're talking to the NPCs or you can also use you know the return scroll because they return to the nearest you know, interest in these theme dungeons so you can talk to NPC use return scroll to go back and so on and it's very fast usually I can do all three of those theme dungeons in 30 minutes so you can get from 1 to, to at least 70 in 30 minutes that's if you have like you know you're fast on the keyboard you're fast at playing you're fast at spamming the space bar when talking to npc and killing mobs and then once you get to 70 you unlock the level one thing skill now from 70 to 100 is a really big challenge and what i usually do from level 70 to 120 is i try to stack all the buffs that i mentioned earlier and then I will train in Orbis over here from 70 to 82 because I realize it's just faster overall. I'm not going to really explain why, but it's fast for me. So when I get to 82, that's when I go to the desert right over here. I go to this one, but some people recommend this one. Any of these three actually are good. This one, this one, or this one. And I train there. To 92 
Now depending on your character, if you think it's strong enough, you can probably move to fairies. These are the fairies that I'm talking about right here. Just type in fairies in here and search it. I don't know where this is, Ellen Forest. Either this map, Ellen Forest, Fairy Forest 1, or Ellen Forest, Fairy Forest 2. You train here to 100. But if you can't kill those, then stay at the desert to 100. Or, if you want to, you can just train to 95 here in the desert and then move over here to Alcatan Research Institute Library C3. That's 1295 and train there to 100. And then when you get to 100, you can do the Zakum strat where you go to Zakum, which is a boss that you can unlock at level 50, I believe. And you kill his arms, you get to at least 102 or 103, then you exit. Then there's a 30 minute cooldown and you can re-enter later on while you're leveling. So once you're 103, you can go to my favorite place, Minar Forest, and you can train either here at the West Lever Forest or here at the Minar Forest West Border. Or if you're really feeling strong enough and you have Star Forest equipment, the Valley of the Antelope 2. I mean, you can also go through this one, Skyness 2, but if you are able to kill these ones, I think it's much better. And then, once you're level 110 or 112, you can go back to Zakum, kill him completely, kill his arms, kill his whole body, destroy him. You will be like level 113 or 115. Then at that level, you can do just do Monster Park. You will be able to do two free runs of Monster Park. And you can probably get to level 115 or 118. Now, when you're leveling from 100 to 140, I suggest you don't worry about the stats of the gear, but worry about the level of the gear. So when you get level 100 gear, start star forcing the equips that you have that are just good stats. You know, whatever RNG gives you, just star force it. Can't really show an example here, but like. Let's say this one, just Star Force. Star Force that 100. Because then you can use this. You sacrifice your equipment to put to another equipment. So you're gonna take your 100 gear, you're gonna put it to the 120 gear. And then you're gonna take your 120 gear, you're gonna put it to 130. That way you save mesos. Don't worry about the stats. Stats doesn't matter until after level 150. So once you know, you're probably like level 120 now after Monster Park. I suggest you can go level over here at El Nafos Territory 3 or other whatever other guides say you should level up. Normally they would say you can level up over here at the Warp Path of Time. Both are really good. Train there till 125 or 128 and then like every other guide you should go train at the Junior Cerberus is right here. This one's good, level 132. Do you know you have the Star Force gear? It has to be 55 Star Force. That's why I suggest you should start Star Forcing at 100 and just transfer hammer the one from the 100 gear to the 110 gear to the 120 gear to the 130 gear. Then you can train here to 138. And then I suggest you go over here to Kerning City Tower and train. Finish that 141 at Kerning Tower B1 Electronic Store. Or current time v1 electronic store 2 or you can go over here to mulam garden and train at the herb town red nose pirate 2. then you'll be 141 and then you can use extreme gold potions on that character to 200 that's if you're going for the 8k legion which is going to be way far down the road and that's how i am going to plan to do that part but for now i made it to 6k legion I hope I didn't miss anything. I just wanted to make this video on Maple Story and you know, quick update that I have started playing Maple Story and it is a grind, but it's a very fun one compared to other games. And yeah, thank you for watching. This is Zion and this is my Maple Story reboot progression video on reaching 6k legends in two months and two weeks. I could have done it sooner, but I took some breaks here and then. But just to show you real quickly, here's this really cool website you can go to called Maple Rings. 
And I'm just give you a quick overview because you can see how much I progressed with my Legion. Here, you can see this is my character, my Adele. And if you go over here, you know, there's some days where I don't even play my main. That's when I'm actually trying to level up more than two alts or more than two characters to like 120. So like these days I was like level like two or three alts. Oh, I tried to keep leveling one. And then you can go down here and you can see like my Legion rate progress. Which this doesn't really matter. This is the one that matters, the Legion level progress. So you can see I really started to level up it more once Destiny dropped, basically. So right here on June 30th, it was 3820. And then within like two weeks, I got to 6000. So yeah, that's pretty much my Legion progress, as I said. This is a cool site. This is called maplerings.com. You can check it out yourself if you want to keep progress or you can make your own Excel sheet. Yeah, but sorry this video was kind of long. I thought I could do it in less than 10 minutes, but there's just so much to talk about when it comes to Maple Story since it's become such a complex game over the past years. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video whenever that's going to happen. Happy Mabelin and happy gaming. Hope you have a fantastic day. Peace.